transmitting stations to service the major shipping lanes. There are a pair here, for example, Sisconset and Bodie Island. One is known as the master station, the other is the slave. For a moment, consider these two stations operating as a synchronous pair, simultaneously emitting short pulses of radio energy. Leaving both shore stations simultaneously, a pair of pulses travel out into space, in all directions, at a constant speed, roughly 186,000 miles per second, or the speed of light. Plus, the pulse from the closer station will reach the ship an instant before the pulse from the other station. The Loran ship board gear measures this difference in time of arrival in millionth of a second, or microseconds. It simply determines how much longer one pulse takes to reach the ship than the other pulse. Now, this same time interval will be observed at many points within the range of the two shore stations. And when connected, these points form a hyperbola, known as the Loran line of position, to aid the navigator in obtaining a fix. Specially prepared Loran tables and charts contain accurately plotted lines of position on the various time differences encountered in a particular area. Having one line of position, we then obtain readings from another pair of stations. An accurate fix is established at the intersection of the two lines of position. 